Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be about this foundation right here. It's called the Huda Beauty Faux Filter Foundation. A lot of people are raving about this foundation and sold out na to sa Sephora ngayon. And tingnan natin kung okay ba talaga siya and kung hindi ko na ba kailangan ng filter pag take ng picture. So if you guys want to see my first impression, uh, if you guys want to see my first impressions and if you want to know my thoughts about this foundation, then keep on watching. Hey guys, so I have nothing on my face right now except for moisturizer, lip balm, and key light. This is how the box looks like. It says here, Huda Beauty Full Filter Foundation. And then it has 35 ml or 1.18 fluid ounces of product. Meron dito yung claim na foundation. Ito, I'm gonna read it to you right now. It's high coverage cream foundation, effortless application, effortless, effortless, effortless. Yun na yun. Camouflages imperfections and pigmentation. It has soft focus and filter finish. So this is how the foundation bottle looks like. Very sleek and simple lang. It says here Huda Beauty. And then when you open it, meron siyang pump. Transparent yung tube niya guys. So hindi ko alam lang kung ano yung color sa labas. Yun ba din yung color sa loob. Kasi nga, first time ko pa tong gamitin today. And then it reminds me of NARS packaging. Pero ito, hard plastic siya. Kasi yung NARS glass sila, di ba? A lot of people are actually turned off. Bakit siya hard plastic? And sobrang mahal ng foundation na to. Hindi ko alam kay Huda kung bakit hard plastic. I'm on the Sephora website right now and 30 yung shades na available and I got it in the shade 150G Creme Brulee. I'm really not sure if this is the perfect shade for me. Tapos yung MAC reference ko pala NC25. MAC NC25. Tapos yung undertone ko, I have a lot of yellow in my skin. Obvious naman sa camera. And meron ding hint of olive. Meron dito sa likod yung directions on how to apply this foundation. And it says here, using a pump or less, apply foundation evenly all over the face with a dense brush or beauty sponge. So pwede yung brush, pwede yung sponge. We'll try both methods later. For best application, pair with the Huda Beauty Complexion Perfection Pre-Makeup Base. And hindi ko binili yung primer nila. But the good thing is that merong nakalagay dito na primer sa likod, yung sample size nila. So at least matatry natin yun. Yung full size ng primer is $35. Ang mahal best, Huda Beauty The Complexion Perfection Pre-Makeup Base Primer. Yun yung pangalan nito. Basahin natin yung claim. So this is a hydrating makeup base that creates a smooth canvas while gripping makeup and moisturizing the skin. Sige nga, tingnan natin. So I'm gonna apply it on the left side of my face. Ganito yung color ng primer, para lang siyang moisturizer or thick moisturizer. I'm sorry, nagdidrill na naman yung neighbor ko. Pasensya na mga beshi, pero kailangan ko na tong i-film kasi 48 years na. This feels tacky na. As you can see, dumidikit yung kamay ko sa mukha ko. So kung dumidikit yung kamay ko sa mukha ko, malamang didikit yung foundation dito. For applying the foundation sa face ko, dalawa yung gagamitin ko. We will try the brush and we will try the sponge. Tingnan natin kung saan mas maganda. Pero itatry ko muna dito and then dito na area. Tingnan lang natin kung saan maayos magblend itong foundation na to. So, ganyan yung foundation guys. It's a bit runny but not too runny na super liquidy. It has like a thick consistency. So, I'm gonna put a little muna dito sa jaw area ko. Definitely full coverage. As in full coverage, laga siya best. Ang liit lang nung nilagay ko. Tingnan natin tong brush kung okay ba. Medyo straight key siya pag brush guys. So I'm just gonna stick to my sponge. So ang napansin ko sa foundation na to guys, kailangan mabilis kang magblend kasi nagda-dry up siya agad. And ito, nakita nyo ba? Yan o, no? nag-dry na yan. Marami pang natira foundation sa kamay ko and ganito na yung coverage niya. As you can see, it's really, really full coverage. Although hindi ko pa final coverage talaga ng bongga dito, I'm gonna try to build up on those areas later. So I'm gonna apply the rest of the foundation before this dries on the right side of my face now. And ito yung side ha na walang primer. Meron ako napansin ngayon guys, mas madaling nag-spread yung foundation na moisturizer lang and walang primer or hindi ko ginamitan ng primer ni Huda. Kasi dito talaga madali siyang mag-set tapos nag-stick siya sa isang part so kailangan mo siyang i-spread agad. Pero dito kasi nag-spread siya agad so hindi ako nahirapan dito sa side na to. 
hindi pa siya nag-oxidize. Hopefully, mag-oxidize. Mag wow! Mag-oxidize siya ng konti sa mukha ko mamaya. So, I'm just gonna finish up the rest of my makeup and I'll see you later. I know I'm not done with the rest of my makeup yet, pero gusto ko lang i-share sa inyo to bago ko makalimutan. And pasensya na kung nagpa-fast forward na naman yung pagsasalita ko. Kasi pag na-excite ako or meron akong gustong i-share, ganun talaga ako, guys. Parang naka-fast forward. So, while doing the rest of my makeup kanina, meron akong napansin. Itong Huda Beauty na parang... So, while doing the rest of my makeup kanina, meron akong napansin. Itong Huda Beauty na parang primer and this foundation, pag isi-smell mo lang sila ng ganun, hindi mo talaga masi-smell yung parang heavy perfume. So, I swatch it to the back of my hand. And sobrang heavily scented sila, guys. As in, heavily scented. And sabi ko, ang bango ko, best. As in, nasi-smell ko talaga siya sa mukha ko ngayon, kahit naka-powder na ako. So, nagli-linger siya ng konti. So, I hope mawala to mamaya. Pero, gusto ko lang sabihin yan in case ayaw nyo ng heavily scented na foundation or primer. Hey guys! I'm done with the rest of my makeup. And nag-powder ako. Ito yung ginamit ko. The Kat Von D Blotting Powder in the shade Light. Ito yung ginamit ko kasi nga wala siyang coverage. So, I just really wanna set the foundation in place para hindi mag-patchy yung bronzer ko and yung highlighter and then yung blush. And okay naman siya. It's setting well on my dry skin. Ang problema ko lang ngayon dito na area sa mouth area, like this part down here kasi it's looking a bit cakey. And then, I like the non-prime side compared to the prime side. This foundation is not a natural looking foundation. Like, of course, if you look at me on camera, it looks really flawless. It looks nice. But in person, masasabi talaga ng kaibigan mo kung may makakita sa'yo na, girl, you're wearing foundation, yung ganon. Pero pag careful ka naman sa pag-blend ng foundation na to, I think it's gonna look flawless. Pero hindi siya look yung parang no foundation foundation look. On camera, I'm looking at myself in the monitor now. I know... When you look at me now, mas flawless tong area na to compared to this. But sa personal guys, mas maganda tong hindi naka-primer compared dito sa naka-primer. Kasi mas hindi nga na-emphasize yung lines ko dito compared to this side right here. And ito guys, yung naka-primer talaga. Maki-feel ko na medyo mainit siya and medyo heavy siya talaga. Like this side, mas lighter siya ng konti. I don't normally discuss ingredients to you but I think I need to tell you this just in case you have super sensitive skin. Kasi dito sa ingredients guys, di ba sinabi ko sa inyo before the further up yung ingredient, mas marami yung content ng ingredient na yun dun sa foundation. Tapos dito kasi number 3 talaga ha, si number 3 yung talc. So if you have sensitive skin, if you're allergic to talc, I don't think you will enjoy this foundation kasi nga number 3 siya. So mas malakas or mas marami si talc dito sa foundation na to. For example, I have this Giorgio Armani foundation here and wait lang ha. Wala. Wala akong nakikitang talc. Alam ko marami pang mga ingredients sa foundation talaga na hindi okay for sensitive skin. Pero yun lang kasi yung alam ko yung talc. Pero dito, yung Giorgio Armani Luminous Self Foundation, wala akong nakikitang talc or baka sira lang yung mata ko. Pero wala talaga akong nakikitang talc sa ingredients niya. Pero this one, number 3 si talc. So just be careful. Baka mag-breakout ka if you use this if you have super sensitive skin. That is it for this video, guys. It's already 11.15 in the morning. I will take it throughout my day today. I will try my best to wear this for at least 8 hours today. So, I'll see you guys later. Hey, guys. So, this is how my face looks like on natural lighting. And as you can tell, hindi na siya ganun kapote. Um, Nag-oxidize siya ng konti, pero half a shade lang. As in, hindi siya katulad ng Fenty. Yung nangyari sa akin na mga 2 to 3 shades darker than my actual skin tone. So, ito, nag-oxidize ng konti. Just like typical foundations. Yung parang pag-dry niya, nag-iba yung color niya, yung ganun. Hindi hindi talaga siya yung super oxidation na bonggang bongga. So, gusto ko lang sabihin yun sa inyo na yung creme brulee, parang okay na siya sa akin ngayon. Hi guys! So it's already 4 o'clock in the afternoon and this is how my face looks like. I'm gonna pull you in close. This is the side with the primer on. And ito yung walang primer. With primer, no primer. Tinanong ko si Dave and sabi niya, maganda daw yung skin ko today. And sabi niya, may foundation but hindi daw masagwa tingnan. Kasi ayaw na yung look na makapal yung foundation ko. Sabi niya, obvious na may foundation ako pero maganda. Char. Hey guys, I'm back after 8 hours. I think 8 hours na kasi it's already 8.12 in the evening. And this is how my face looks like. Hininaan ko ng konti yung ring light ko para mas makita niyo yung details sa mukha ko. And then, both cheek area sobrang okay pa talaga guys. As in, sobrang vivid pa yung blush, bronzer, and highlighter ko. Dito sa mouth area ko, pareho lang din kanina. Dito and dito. Kanina medyo nawala siya eh. But ngayon, parang 
Um, like for example, this side right here, ito parang nakikita na yung pimple ko or acne scar ko. Tapos parang umakyat dun yung foundation, tapos andito sila lahat. Hindi ko alam kung bakit. And then ito yung smile lines ko guys, kanina hanggang dito lang yan. Parang umabot na siya dito sa baba. I don't know why. Ito pa naman yung naka-primer, tapos ito yung walang primer. So mas malaki yung smile lines ko dito compared dito. So mas emphasize to na area compared to this side right here. So may natuklap na foundation dito, hindi ko alam kung saan ang galing yan. Or hindi ko alam kung baka na-scratch ko ba yung mukha ko kanina. Dito na area sa ilong ko, wala na talaga yung foundation kasi nire-rub ko yan kanina kasi nga sinisipon ako. And then, what else? Okay pa naman dito sa noo. As you can tell, medyo dewy na talaga yung mukha ko. But, ini-expect ko naman yan kasi kanina after application, hindi naman siya nagbigay sa akin ng super matte na flat na finish. It has given me a satin finish. So, normal lang siguro talaga na 8 hours. Ganito na yung mukha ko. Pero, if hindi ko nasabi kanina, guys, malamig na dito sa amin. So... Yun, baka mas dewy kung nasa Pilipinas ka kasi mas humid yung weather dyan compared to here. I'm gonna start with this primer. This is the Huda Beauty Complexion Perfection Pre-Makeup Base. Uh, isa lang yung masasabi ko sa primer na to, me no likey. Now let's talk about this foundation. This is definitely medium, buildable to full coverage. You can sheer it out, but kung gusto mo talaga ng full coverage, na cover yung chisme sa mukha mo, this is definitely full coverage. You really need to work in sections. Hindi pwede yung ginagawa natin sa ibang foundation na dinadot natin all over our face kasi dito ka pa lang as in nag-dry na yung left. So, eto muna and then after this, then the left side. Dry, combo, oily skin pwede naman sa foundation na to. Just not sensitive skin kasi because of talc and because this is heavily fragrant. So, feeling ko pag sensitive ka talaga, magkaka-breakout ka sa foundation na to. Dry skin, moisturize. If you have super oily skin, do not forget to put a primer or mattifying primer or maybe magdala ka talaga ng blotting sheet para mag-blot kasi after 8 hours di ba nag na yung skin ko? So, what more if you have oily skin? So, after 8 hours, oily na talaga. Lastly, I do not believe on the soft focus claim and yung walang filter. Kailangan ko talaga ng filter kasi nagtry ako magpicture sa phone ni Dave and hindi talaga siya yung may soft focus effect. Pareho lang siya ng effect actually sa iba kong mga full coverage foundation. Like, kailangan ko pa rin talaga ng filter. Overall, I am pleased with this foundation. First impressions, okay talaga siya sa akin well except for the areas na pinoint out ko sa inyo kanina. Pero try kong gawa ng paraan kasi first impressions pa naman to. So, itatry kong konti lang yung ilagay ko sa mga areas na yun next time para hindi siya mag cakey I'll be honest, mas gusto ko to sa dry skin ko compared kay Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Foundation. Before I end this video, I wanna throw in a little disclaimer and dapat kanina pa yung disclaimer and ngayon ko na lang sasabihin kasi nakalimutan ko. So yes, it doesn't mean that the product worked for me, then automatically mag-work sila sa inyo kasi iba-iba yung skin type natin. And kahit pareho pa yung skin type natin, like I have dry skin and maybe you have dry skin, pero iba-iba naman yung preference natin sa makeup and iba-iba din yung texture natin sa face. So meron talagang products na mag-work sa'yo and hindi mag-work sa'kin or merong nag-work sa'kin and hindi nag-work sa'yo. So yun. Thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And may your brow game be as strong as your coffee today. Love you. Bye! I just wanna dance feel good